Today's Bible study is titled Example of 1 Thessalonians 3 Be Established. For the sake of space, today, read 1 Thessalonians 3 in the Key JV Bible. Because of learning that the Thessalonian believers suffered like things of your own countrymen, in what is 1 Thessalonians 14, the entirety of what is 1 Thessalonians 3 speaks to Paul's concern for the say spiritual children of his and his desire to know that tear hearts were established. Let's sum this up. Verses 1 minus 5 report that, when Paul could no longer stand, not knowing of their spiritual and physical welfare, he sent Timothy his son in the faith to, know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain. This should encourage us to likewise keep up with those whom we have shared the gospel, or shared rightly divided teaching of the scripture, or both. There is always the potential that the tempter will somehow seek to somehow impact these, and those who teach have a responsibility for the spiritual welfare of those taught. Verses 6-10 continue and report that during the time when Timothy was away, Paul was night and day praying exceedingly that he might perfect that which is lacking in their faith. Timothy came back from the follow-up with the Thessalonian believers and reported good tidings of your faith and charity, and that they had good remembrance of Paul and company, greatly desiring to see him. So, there was opportunity for seeing them again and teaching them more of the message of God's grace, for which Paul rejoiced. Verses 11 to 13 finally sum it up with a prayer by Paul that God himself and our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ, direct our way to you. Further, and in the meantime, Paul prayed, the Lord make you to increase and abound in love toward one another, and toward all men, even as we do toward you. And lastly, as a result of increasing and abounding love, he prayed, to the end he may establish your hearts unblameable in holiness. It should be pointed out here, that the key JV again shows the things that differ between it and other paraphrases or translations, all of which will translate establish as establish. Establish simply means founded or beginning while establish, in its briefest key JV era definition, means to be built up. So, the difference is that this is not talking about founding anything, rather the building or strengthening of what is already in existence. Big difference. Believer, be established, and be concerned that those whom you've led to the Lord and or taught them the scriptures, be likewise. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.